Hi, I'm Steph Haynes, and in this video, I'll show you how to connect your Arty Noise recorder to your personal computer so that you can use it to control music creation software such as Ableton Live, Cakewalk, FL Studios, and many others. This will allow you to record yourself, edit your recordings, and experiment with new sounds for your instrument. Let's jump right into it. The Arty Noise recorder uses Bluetooth to connect to tablets and computers, so be sure the Bluetooth is turned on for your computer. If your computer does not have a built-in Bluetooth receiver, then consider buying a USB Bluetooth adapter that is compatible with Bluetooth 4.0. Before we can use our recorder with our music creation software, or digital audio workstation as they're often called, we'll need to download and install two software programs that will facilitate this connection. The first is called Loop MIDI, and you can find a link to it in the description of this video or on the Arty Noise Recorder Facebook group. Once it's finished downloading, Double click on the file and run the Loop MIDI setup application. As soon as that's finished, click Launch and you should get a window that looks like this. We can leave this open for now while we download the Windows 10 Recorder Bridge. This can be found on the Arty Noise website under Downloads or in the Facebook group or in the description of this video. Once the file has been downloaded, open it up and run the setup wizard. Let's take note of the file path where the Recorder Bridge is being installed so that we can find it later. Once installation is complete, find the new folder labeled Arty Noise in your file explorer. Click on the folder marked Recorder Bridge, and then find the application called Recorder and open that up. You may wish to create a desktop shortcut for easy access later. Now it's finally time to connect our recorder to the computer. First things first, turn on your recorder by holding your finger on the circle button. Next, open up Bluetooth settings, click on the plus sign at the top of the menu, select Bluetooth, and then select the recorder. The device will only connect if you're holding the circle button with your finger. If you're having trouble connecting, remove your finger for a few seconds before trying again. After the recorder is connected, open the recorder MIDI bridge. If your recorder isn't already listed in the application, click Start Search and it should appear. When it does, be sure that your finger is firmly on the circle button before clicking on the recorder. If you get error code 3 in green text, it is likely because your finger was not on the circle button before clicking on the recorder. If this occurs, close the window, reopen the application, and try again. If you keep getting the same error message, try restarting your computer. If the pairing is successful, you should see the word ready in the green bar. If you try it playing your recorder, that word will be replaced with the notes that you are playing. Now, if we want to use the recorder inside of music creation software such as Ableton Live, Cakewalk, or Pro Tools, we will need to connect the recorder MIDI bridge to our Loop MIDI application. To do that, we just need to click on this drop-down menu and select the Loop MIDI port. We'll know that they're connected if we get changing numbers in the two right-hand columns. If Loop MIDI doesn't show up in the drop-down menu, close both applications and then be sure to reopen Loop MIDI first and then the Recorder MIDI bridge. Now that we finally have our recorder communicating to Loop MIDI through the Recorder MIDI bridge, let's open up our music creation software. Today, I'll be using a digital audio workstation called Cakewalk which is free to download and install. This is just a blank, basic project. The first thing that we should do is make sure that our DAW recognizes our recorder through the Loop MIDI connection. You can do this by going to Preferences in your DAW of choice, and then going to MIDI settings, and then making sure that Loop MIDI is selected. If this is all well and good, then it's time to find a voice for our recorder. To do that in Cakewalk, click on this little keyboard icon on the side. This will show you a list of instruments from the Cakewalk Instrument Library, as well as any VST plugins that you may have installed. Here's what the bass sounds like. I like to bring my recorder down a couple octaves for this one. Some of my favorite sounds to use with the recorder are made by third-party software designers. This one's called the EV Einer, and it was designed to work specifically with digital wind instruments. Let's try some recording. First I'll lay down some drums by opening the drum plugin and clicking and dragging my desired drum groove. Now let's record some synthesizer. Uh-oh, looks like I played a wrong note. Let's go into the piano roll and fix that. I could add as 
many tracks to this as I want and create a whole symphony using just my recorder and the software. But I think it's time to wrap up this video. I hope you found it to be helpful, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to hear the music that you're going to make with the Artie Noise recorder.